Hello everyone, uh, welcome to a new workspace that I have made, as you can see it's made out of a nice wood. Uh, today's video is going to be about my GameCube. I actually got this GameCube Christmas a long time ago, and uh, well, simply put, as you know the recession hit over a decade ago. A lot of stuff happened, my parents had to pawn it, they didn't want to, but they did get me the serial number in case they, they lost it in pawn or something, which unfortunately is what happened. Um, it took me many years, in fact, it wasn't until about a month or so ago that I finally managed to track it down on eBay. Um, the seller had the serial on display on one of his pictures. It matched my serial. And it also had my old decals on it. However, um, as you can see, it was listed as parts broken. Now, I went ahead and did some testing on it just to learn that uh, the CD drive is completely dead. I finally managed to get the laser to move, but the actual spindle piece in here just does not work anymore. And considering the price to buy the games these days are well over the $100 range for most of them, I still have all my copies of my games, ironically enough. So, uh, but I can't use them because the CD drive don't work. Now, I could buy another CD drive off eBay. Hope it works, hope it'll last, but these consoles are aging. They're getting old. Parts are wearing out, especially parts that are mechanical in nature that move around a lot. So, I decided to buy this little guy. This is an optical drive emulator. It will take place of the CD drive and uh, let me house all my games on an SD card. Now, I do not condone piracy at all. That means if you get this, it's up to you wherever you want to do. Back to what I was saying, I don't condone piracy. If you own the games, I do condone making a backup of a copy. But if you sell that game, delete the copy. If you decide to download the games, that's on you. I am in no way, shape, or form responsible for your actions. Um, so the purpose of this particular video, and this is going to be a series of videos, is we're going to tear this down completely and clean it up. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of dirt and grime, some damage, and if you noticed, the coloring is off between these two. Um, I do know this plastic is very brittle right now, but I'm going to do my best to patch it up where it's broken. I have found the pieces, just come out, and uh, do the best I can. Um, the other videos will be me showing you how to install and set up the ODE, Optical Drive Emulator, why you would want an SD2, uh, SP2 SD2 device. And a memory card, if you're into that. And, uh, use a ribbon cable. Um, I will explain more on the installations on these kind of things as I do them in those videos. Um, I hope you enjoy today's video. I'll see you all on, well, you'll be on a time lapse. Have fun.
the full teardown. Um, I'm going to do the CD drive separately just because I'm going to rip apart <clears throat> and mod it. Uh, I'm in night, so okay. But, uh, yeah, so like I said, a CD drive is completely dead. Um, I'm going to rip it apart and use the casing for the that held the guts of the CD drive to make sure there's not a giant gap in the GameCube. They do sell, uh, you can buy them off eBay, or if you know some 3D printer, you can get the, uh, <clears throat> STL files to make it, but, uh, you can buy off eBay a 3D printed mount for the GC loader. Unfortunately, as this channel is running entirely off my own pocket, um, I just don't have the money for it. Uh, I live in Kentucky. We've been getting hit by weird weather for the past month. It's January, and right now it is a lot of snow outside. Uh. And it's hard for me to get to work right now because of it. Um, anyways, enough yammering about myself. I showed you in the video, I pointed to them. This really needs clean. Uh, no, that's not it. <laughs> that there's several pieces missing. However, I made sure to carefully take them all out. So this way I can, uh, glue them back in. I'm gonna be trying the, uh, Super glue, micro ice gel stuff. It's a gel, so I should have an easier time using it. Um, I use hot glue on a lot of things, but something like this, where it's so small and precise, such as the screw post, which I'm going to try and fix, as long as I have all the parts for them, uh, laying about in my little tool thing over there, I'm going to try and fix them up. Where if I used hot glue, it's going to get in there and make it nearly impossible for me to get the screw in and out. Super glue, if I let it set, as long as I don't get it inside the thread area, should work really good. Um, <clears throat> normal super glue, where it's liquid, not a gel. If you use uh, that in baking soda, you can actually rebuild these up. I'm not sure how you would tap them, but... Eh. Anyways... But yeah, the next video that's coming out will be me scrubbing down the plastic shell and everything. Uh, tearing down the top half even further so this way I can get the stuff out. Um, and fully clean it. Uh, I would like to retro bright this. Unfortunately, I don't have the money for the kind of lights that 8-Bit Guy uses. The uh, UV, not UV. The purple lights, I can't think of them off the top of my head. They might be UV lights. Sorry. Um, as you know, my channel, I'm always tired. Um, <clears throat> and with it being winter, it just it doesn't get hot enough outside to use peroxide in a bucket. So, that will be for a future, much future video. Or I may just come down and decide and paint it. But I would really like to try and keep the actual look. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, look forward to the next one. This should give me about a couple videos. So this way I can post weekly. I'll see you all later. Uh, please like and subscribe. I really want to make it big on YouTube one day. Just so that I can do the things I enjoy and one day help people do things they enjoy. Uh, see y'all later.